I'm looking at Mr. Pfeiffer, the supposedly educated Dr. Lewis, Ms. Burns, and others who can point read. Point of order. What's your point? The point is that the, the alleged doctor is not germane to the, to the issue at hand, and I can definitely get more rules to, to support that, but we're not here to attack colleagues, and attacking colleagues goes against council rules. That is an order. Council members are reminded to please stay germane to the motion and the discussion at hand and that inflammatory remarks are not allowed. Let me say this, um, Madam Chair, to the public and the council. You can talk about a council's vo person's voting record or the lack thereof. When you appeal a rule, I don't care what your name is, Lewis, Piper, Burns, or whoever, I got the right to say that when you condone wrongdoing, you're just as wrong as the wrongdoer. And I'm going to name your names. And I'm going to talk about your absentee and voting records and your knowledge, whether you're a doctor, dentist, or Indian chief. My position is this. This dude, the blues man I was referring to, uh, given, living in rat-infesting community and, you won't let the, and he refused to pick up trash in this community, the rap, talking about Robert, this guy over there. Man, what you be made feeling about blight? And that's what the police department become, nothing but blight. They come over here and join the police department and get trained and go over there in Burton, and the chief of police had to go over there Point of order, and fight Mr. the President. whole gang war. Just take what's your boy? Well, hold on, hold on. Ah, ah, you. Mr. Mitchell. What? What's he's, your point? He's not germane to... I know he's not germane. That's why I tried to get Arthur Who said I'm not germane? Well, I've told Welcome you... Welcome to the United States from Jamaica. Mr. Well, Mr. Mitchell, 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 Mr. Mitchell. Are there other speakers for this public hearing? I'll be voting no on this motion made by Ms. Worthing and seconded by Liddell Lewis. Oh, I forgot. Don't be saying my name. Oh, I'm gonna say their name. <laughs> Anybody elected or appointed, I'm gonna say their name. And I'm gonna talk about their voting record, their attendance record, put me in jail. I'm gonna say their name. What's, what hurts me about this new council is that they don't get it. They violating the rules. They didn't come of age in five months and ain't quite there yet. And uh, we'll take it from here. I'll be voting no on turning this Madam over Chair. to the Citywide Advisory Committee. That's my first round communication. Thank, thank you, Mr. Mays. Ms. What, Worthing, is she, you have what was she interrupting me for? She, point of order, Madam Chair. Couldn't I have point? the courtesy of just finishing up before you and her start engaging? Is y'all in a certain Mr. sorority? Mace, point of order. What's your point? Ain't it proper for me to finish up before you get people to flow? I was about done. Wasn't that kind of rude? That's that's not a proper point of order, Mr. Worthing. Ms. You Worthing. just don't want to recognize me. From the brother. Excuse, oh, me. Uh, Mr. excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. Ms. Now you have one warning. You appealed it and you lost. So now you have one warning. And we are going to move point over here. Order. What is your point of order? I appealed the point of information. Being invalid. And did not get a second. I'm asking you saying you done gave me one warning and next I'll be removed for Mr. that. Mr. Mays, I gave I you the warning. I gave you the warning and then you wanted to appeal what I said about the point of information not being valid. But that's that's not why I ruled you, um, gave you a warning. I gave you a warning because you continue to want to argue and I refuse to argue with you. And so once I rule on your ruling, you don't get to continue to argue with me. And so respectfully now, you do have a warning. If you'd like to appeal that, you have a right to do so. Yeah, I would appeal. There's an appeal of the decision warning. of the chair to give him a warning. Is there a second? There's an appeal of the decision of the chair. Is there a second? 
There's an appeal of the decision of the chair on the floor. Is there a second? The appeal dies for a lack. There's a motion on the floor to uh, suspend the rules so that we can properly respond to the speakers. Is there support for that motion? Is there Ms. support for that? May I have the audience Ms. please quiet? Mr. Is there President, support for that motion? I second. It's been moved and properly second. Oh, well, okay. Um, this motion is just to allow Mr. Mays to speak until 3 a.m. This has nothing to do with properly responding to anyone. Um, I hear some people wanting support for this, but please don't mistake this motion for anything but Mr. Mays' opportunity to talk and talk and talk as if he doesn't talk enough. It is 9 p.m. I'm ready to go home. Nothing that anyone said cannot be addressed within two minutes. And if you would like to speak to someone further, I suggest you go over there and get their name and contact info, and you can you can meet up for coffee and talk all night long. Thank you, Councilwoman Galloway. And Mr. President, um, I guess I'm disappointed that that we know that if something is voted down, you can tw twist a word and and say it's a different time, but it's the same exact motion. Thank you. Ben. And uh, no, Mr. President, I'm, I'm listening to you. I just want you to move on because I know where you're going. So proceed, okay. please. Mr. President, first well, of I'm, all, you, you, Mr. President, first of please, all, I have please five Please finish what minutes. you can have, 10 minutes. It's rule number 27.1. It says no council person shall leave their seats while a motion is on the floor. And so just so you guys know, probably never even knew that motion was there. And so I hope that we will do a motion quick in case anybody has used point the Point of order. What's your point What's of order? What's the penalty? He'll, he'll receive a warning. No, it says something about not being able to participate, read further, and I ain't even looking at my book. Yeah, so, so the error is mine's too. So, so he want, should know the rules, but I, I, he did ask for a pr permission. And what's your point of order, Do Mr. Mayor? Do you May? warn yourself for the breach of the rules? Because in the back of the rules, it even talks about you being held accountable. So both of you. Where's that at, Mr. Mays? Why don't you pull it out? Look at the last page of the rules. Why don't you pull it out? Read the sir? last page of the rules. If I go into my briefcase or have her send me oh. my the rules, I can read it. Mr. I know Mays. I'm without looking. It's the, on the last page of the rules. You ought to be held accountable. Accountable too, ma'am. You want me to get mine out of my briefcase? Are, are you talking about disciplinary action? Read it. Rule 32.1 Every council person is subject to the established rules and disciplinary actions for violation of rules and city ordinances. Every council person, that includes you. It does. So penalize yourself, warn yourself, so if you breach them again, then this vice president technically takes over and you'll be gone. So both of y'all violated. He violated getting up, and he can't really um, return if I'm reading that right or remembering it right, and you violated it and then admitted it, and you seek to warn yourself so you can be tied with me. If you breach again, you'll be gone. Mr. Mays, does anyone else have any questions on this resolution? Point of order. What's your point of order? Have you told me the penalty for you and him? I can't move on until I know if I'm the only one sitting Mr. here Mr. Mays, let me tell you this. You clearly are not paying attention because you are ready to fight. I just said that I am willing to take a warning, but what I will tell you is you are beginning to abuse point of orders. I said I will take a warning with you. But, sir, I am telling you that you will not breach point of order or point of information. I want you to listen. You are so used to people fighting with you that you didn't even hear me say, I will accept a warning. And I don't have to, but I'm willing. But I want to get through this <laughs> meeting. She done left in the middle of the I just business, said so. that, Mr. Mays. I don't need you to repeat it. I got it. the floor. Point of I order. Don't need you can to you repeat can it. interrupt me when I, I get the floor? That's I will. illegal. Mr. Mays, you don't need to repeat what I've already repeated. I can say what I want and you when have I the, get floor. the floor. What is your pleasure for and this I'm, resolution? I don't like discrimination, Ms. Galloway. You gave me the floor. Can you let me exercise my lips in my elected seat without interrupting me and talking down and condescending? You give me the floor. The rules is you be quiet. Move and I on, speak. Mr. Mays. You have the floor. Move on. Your don't. point is made. And it will be nice not to be interrupted when I'm given the floor, regardless of what I say. Now, enough is enough. So I got the floor. 
I don't like to be interrupted and treated differently wrongfully. That would be two for you. My position is this. But I'm not too confident in my council colleagues who make an emotion to accept something we getting after the fact. Mr. Guerra, that is a little ridiculous. I'm just telling you, as a younger council person, to me, that is a little ridiculous. We vote on resolutions, ordinances, and documents. Had through you, Madam President, to Mr. Guerra, had you seen this budget? Had you? He said he'll talk, Mr. Oh, he refused to answer whether he's seen it. I want to know if you've seen it because I don't like backroom deals, Mr. Guerra. You think you being smart won't answer a simple question, had you seen this budget, had you met with the mayor, through you, Madam Chair, to Ms. Fields, she seconded the motion, had you seen it, Ms. Fields? Now they want to set mute. How can you work with folks who set mute and won't tell you whether they meeting behind the scenes? All our meetings should be open and out in the public under the Open Meetings Act for the public to know. I've never met a bunch like this before. A quick point of information and they said mute. I got my hands full up here. I want the community to know I got my hands full. You turn your back, they stab you in the back for titles and positions. Want to be somebody and ain't even studied how government works then put a motion to accept some. I can't vote to even accept it till I review it. It is ridiculous. Thank you, Mr. Mays. Mr. Guerra. So to be clear, no, I have not seen this budget before, but I didn't make a motion to accept the budget. I made a motion to receive the budget so I could get the opportunity to look at the budget and then go from here to make any additional changes that we may need to make. Okay, then, then Councilman Mays, it's your turn. Mr. President. Mr. President, I would yield to Mr. Davis. Mr. Davis? You can't. Thank you, Mr. President. Mr. I President, point of order. Yes. You said you wanted I'm, to wait. No, 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 no. Mr. Davis, is it appropriate for Mr. Mays to yield to you? I ain't she crazy. I can yield to whoever no, I want to no. yield to. You can yield, it runs up time, but Mr. Mays never spoke, so it's, it's This ain't no motion. I can right. yield and get okay. the flow I'm back. Just Come on, Ms. Galloway, you a senior council person. Thank Me you, and Mr. you've been Davis. here longer than anybody. Thank you, Quit Mr. President. She was really you. out of order. She's supposed to say Mr. point Edwards. of order, point Mr. of information. Mr. She just Charles can't Mays. say point of order. Can you say Point of order. What's your point of order? Sir? My point of order, she can't just howl out and take the flow. Okay, thank she you. Can, let me finish my point, okay, please. What? You know I'm right. No, I don't know you. I, well, then let me finish and maybe made. you'll find out. Point, point right, of right. order. You're supposed to cease I talking. Cease. You're still talking, sir. I ceased. What is your point of order? When you call a point of order, the chair I ask you to supposed cite to the rule, cease sir. talking. I, ask you I will what, cite the rule. I ask Hold you on. What rule has been broken? I will cite it. That a company with this name, okay, had a lawsuit. I have a call in to the man at the bottom here, Todd Loria. But the Miss Miss Miss. If wait. you let me finish, I'll explain I will. That. I will. But the name of this and company I'm is not the same. That, Go Ms. ahead. Galloway. Go ahead, then, Miss Fields. So I have a call into uh, this man. Uh, Pfeiffer. Uh, Priestley with her spanking tail. Uh, yes, I said it. Uh, Allie Herkin Rotter with her uh, crazy behind. Ludacris Liddell Lewis with her uh, goofy tail. And sometimes Quincy jumping all over the place with his confused self. I don't see those people working for the citizens, in oh, my opinion. Me. Like I said, man, you ain't not supposed to go back no, and forth no, with me. No, You're not supposed to go back and forth with me. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. So you You're not supposed confused. to go. I'm, yeah, I said I'm, confused, I'm, I'm in my exactly opinion. In my I'm opinion, you're confused. God, no, you're not. Not, not my God. Not my That's God. Not my God. Maybe yours, but not mine. Now, let me proceed. Let me proceed. Let me proceed. you say, all this is all. You can get let me, to, uh, Let, uh, me me. Let, Let me proceed. Let me proceed. Sure. Me. Sure. When I'm finished. I know exactly who I've been. When, I've been doing finished. this for 30 years. Who when, I, when I'm finished. I ain't never met you before. When I'm finished. When I'm, when I'm finished. So now, um, like I said, this is the reason, in my opinion, 
while the citizens of the city of Flint are going backwards. What's your point, point of order, Mr. Mays? My point is that you didn't give me the flow. I didn't ask him to come up. This is on the agenda. Mr. Mays, we're past that. You are I'm at an appeal and you lost it. I'm stating my point of order. It. We ain't past it till I state my point and then you rule Mr. Mays, it. wait a minute. Mr. Mays, you were about to lose a lack of a support on an appeal. You said point of order. You are supposed to ask me what my appeal is. Then when you get the floor, now you twist it and turn it. We're not doing that tonight. And so either you want to state what your appeal was, and I will continue to see if there is a second, in, or you are done speaking. I was in the middle of stating it, and you interrupted me Now you again. have the floor. State your appeal, Mr. Mays. I wish you would quit talking to me like that. Mr. Mays. It's really embarrassing and bad. I'm appealing that something has been separated. It's on our agenda. It has to do with Bray Road and environmental. It's been in the paper. I want to ask him why we're in what this What is your appeal, you Mr. That, Mays? That you are not allowing me to ask a question Thank about you, sir. something I on have the your agenda. Appeal. There is an um, appeal of the decision of the chair on the floor. Is there a second? There's an appeal of the decision of the chair on the floor. Is there a second? There's an appeal of the decision of the chair on the floor. Is there a second? The appeal dies for a lack. That's well, well, point of order. What's your point of order? You interrupted you're me. You're out of order right now, Mr. Mays. You're issue. out of order right now. I don't think yes, so. Yes, you are. But I'm ruling you out of order. Okay. If you and can't so stick I'm on, on topic, the of the there's an appeal of the decision of the chair on the floor. Is there a second? There's an appeal of the decision of the chair on the floor. Is there a second? There's an appeal of the decision of the chair on the floor. Is there a second? Your appeal dies for a lack, and that means, Mr. Mays, because you are out of order, you have already had your first warning, and so either I can have Officer Metcalf escort you from the meeting, or you can leave on your own. I'll take the escort because I'm going to sue. You can't remove me. I'm we will take a five-minute recess. Madam Chair. Madam Chair. This is outrageous. Madam Chair. This is outrageous. This is outrageous. This is outrageous. Mr. Metcalf. Oh, they laugh. Y'all think it's funny that you can remove elected folks out their seat for talking about Democrats, Republicans, old administrations, and new and blight? This is getting ridiculous in front of the city of Flint, across the nation, repeatedly. Gestapo. Watch. 